Hello everybody, this is Valhalla Gaming TV and this is the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. We are back again with Satisfactory. This is going to be part 15 in the series. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Maybe check out that Discord I got in the description. And if you guys have been here before, thank you for coming back and I really appreciate your support. Let's jump back into it. Okay, the last episode we built a quartz factory. I was flailing around a little bit trying to figure out what to do. Um, I made a little bit of a plan this time. So the videos can be a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is grab some of this quartz. Because I want to work towards that explorer vehicle. I'll grab some of these. There we go. Alright, let's head back to the hub. And I'm going to make a to-do list to see what I need to get to the explorer vehicle. There's a couple other things I need to do too. Like the, the metal frames. Uh, or the modular frames, I think is what they're called. I need to get those done as well. I need to make a factory for those. They require reinforced plates. So I'm going to have to find some iron nodes. Maybe there's some nearby. That are like a pure one, maybe. Or even just a couple normal ones. That iron. We got one 206 meters away. Let's go check that one out. Let's see what we're working with over here. We definitely need a modular frame factory. I don't even have those being made, and I don't want to have to make anything by hand, eventually. That's a normal one. Let's mark this on the map. Okay, marked it on the map. Let's head this way. Scan again. Iron node. Another one over there. Another one over here, too. I don't really want to pull from the one over there. Let's go check this one. 300 and... 30 meters away. See if I can find anything along the way. The tractors are cool, but they use a lot of fuel. I'd imagine the Explorer vehicle would be better. That's what I want to work towards at the moment. Look, there it is right in front of me. Let's see what it is. It's going to be in, in like an impure one watch. If it's a pure one, I'm going to be happy. Come here, spitter. I'm going to smack you. There you go. And it is... Ooh, a pure node. Yes, we found one. Okay, we can work off this. I know that one pure node can make a bunch of reinforced plates. We got a copper one right here. Come here, hog. Okay, we can work from this. Is there any more iron nearby? What's that? If that's iron, we're in business. It's looking like it. What are we looking at here? Even if it's in pure... Normal. Ooh, okay, yeah. We're in business. This is going to be the modular frame factory right here. Okay. We're going to mark this spot. I'm going to put a waypoint for this. It's going to be the modular frame factory. Modular frame factory. And I'm going to make it orange. Orange is a cool color. Boom. Boom. Medium, apply. And then also, I'm going to want to mark this one to highlight. Didn't I have another one highlighted? No, I think that's it. Okay. Well, we got that highlighted. We're going to work here. Make a modular frame factory. How much concrete we got on us. Forward all this stuff. All right, let's go empty, the, empty my inventory real quick. We'll go over to the hub. See what we need for the to-do list to get the Explorer uh, vehicle going. And I'm pretty sure we need frames for it, so we'll build that factory first. That's going to be the plan. Ow. Oh my god. Fighting this one wrong. Come here. Come here. Oh my god, he's running. He's juking me. He's breaking my ankles. Alright, one sec. Okay, we're back at the factory here. Or the, the hub. Let's see what we got here. It's under quartz. And, oh, I'm almost got enough of that. Need 10 more of those? I wonder if I can just make them by hand, because I do have some quartz on me. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, we can. Okay. We need 10 of these bad boys. So we can unlock that first item along the line. There we go. Whatever it is, I'm not sure. Let's see. Quartz. We got a crystal oscillator. Start research. Wonder what this does. Research completed. Crystal oscillator recipe unlocked. 
New quartz research available. Nice. Oh man, I can get all that. I can get that six inventory slot. Definitely getting that. I think I got all that silica. Pocket dimension now extra dimensionalized with additional dimensional capacity. Pocket dimension. Okay, now we're gonna work on this bad boy. Yeah, see, look, I need a hundred modular frames. Okay, that's what we're gonna work on next. Let's see what we need for the crystal oscillator. There it is. Okay, we need a bunch of the quartz crystals and some reinforced plates. That's not too bad. Well, it's making the uh, quartz crystals now. So let's go start working on that modular frame factory. I'm about to get a little bit more concrete, I think. Let's put this stuff away. Like this. Oh, is that full? Oh, look at all the quartz in here. Actually, we might be able to do something here. One second. Put that in there. What do we got here? Mycelia. Get rid of that. That as well. Okay. We can make a bunch of it now. 96. All right, let's make it. Okay, we got a total of 98. Let's see what we got here. Crystal oscillators, we can make four of them. Yeah, I'm thinking we're running low on reinforced plates here, but I think this is gonna run out too. Yep, we're running out. We need 10 of those bad boys. And a bunch of modular frames. Oh, good thing we got more inventory space, huh? I definitely need more concrete. What else do I need? See, I'll put this quartz away. Don't need to be carrying all that. Get rid of the animal stuff. I guess I can put leaves in here or just get rid of them, actually. I'll just get rid of them in the trash right here. I'll keep the wood. And then quartz. Quartz. Okay. Let's go over here. We're going to grab some concrete on the way back. I'm going to go over to the reinforced plates factory and rotor factory grab some of those if i need any plates like i got enough plates got the wire maybe a couple more cables okay i'm gonna get some resources and then i'll be right back when i get over to the the building site okay i got all the materials we're back where we need to be sort this bad boy up now we can start making some uh platforms here we got the normal resource there and we got the other one right there, so we'll build this way. That way we got plenty of room. It's gonna be pretty decent size, I think. We'll use the two meter foundations. Use control. That'll be the building point. Put in the old zoop mode. We'll build off of that. Let's put it straight across. Get that going. I thought there wasn't one there. I guess it was still loading. It's gonna be a big platform. I guess it's good that we don't gotta worry about uh, like physics. Like having to have supports and stuff like that. That would be cool though. Let's see. That's four. That's five. So we're going to go one more over here to make it an odd number. And then the end is not going to have a piece there because I went from the bottom. There we go. That should be plenty big for now. Now we got to plan this out. So I always like putting the crafting bench. Let's see. And the equipment workshop over here. Let's go with the equipment workshop first. Bigger. Put it on the side. And is that hanging off the edge? It is. We don't want that. Put it like that. Crafting bench. That's hanging off the edge. I wanted to make it look good, okay? I guess we can put walls up at some point. But now that oh, I didn't ever check to see if I got those coupons. I'll check that in a little while. That would be nice to know. We're gonna need two portable miners. 
We gotta put up those MK1 miners. Well, eventually I get steel going and then we get MK2s, which would be pretty cool. Okay, we got that. Now let's go over here. Press zero. Can't do that. I'm getting ahead of myself. We gotta break these. We gotta break the node. Okay, this is the normal one. Oh, those are... <laughs> that's a smelter. Okay, my bad. My bad. I should know this by now. Okay, there we go. Let's go over to the other node. We gotta break the, the top piece and then put another miner on it. And this is gonna be the big boy. The pure node. No. Come on. Break it. There we go. And that iron ore, I don't need in my inventory. Waste of space. MK1 miner. That's gonna go like... That's kind of a problem, isn't it? I guess it's going like that. We wrap around that little... Little lip there. And let's put... A wire... Put it right there. Get another one down here. And plug it in. Alright, leave that for now. Now we gotta plan it out. So for reinforced plates, we need to get those, then we need rods, which is all simple enough. So reinforced plates, we'll literally just pull from the 120 here. And I'll be able to get all that. Basically copy the factory that I did over there. So let's grab a constructor. Actually, we're gonna need smelters, but let's get a constructor first so I can plan this out again. Um, we're gonna need, pretty sure it was plates. Yeah, we're gonna need plates and screws. So 20 plates per minute, what was it? Six, 12, no, no, no. For one, we wanted five per minute. Let's get an assembler so I can see the numbers again. For smart plate. Or a reinforced plate, not smart plate. Uh, 60 screws per minute, 30 plates per minute. Okay. So these ones make 20 plates, so we're going to need three constructors for that. And then this one is, we need 60 screws per minute, which I can make 120 because they're 40 apiece, so that'd be three. So we need 60 and 120. That's what it was. All right, 60 and 120 it is. I'm thinking we can do on the left side what we need, and then on the right side over here, we'll take this one and get what we need for the modular frames. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, we're going to need the MK2 belt. I'm going to pull this bad boy up here. Make it kind of straight. It doesn't do a very good job on that. Let's rotate it like this. And then pull it up here. That'll work. Okay. Now we're going to have some resources. Now, for the constructors, we need the smelters too. So I'm going to go up here and start it like right there. One constructor. Two. Three. And the three constructors, this will be for the iron plates. So, we need 30 iron ingots per minute. Which is just going to come right off of uh, the smelter. It'll work out fine. Oh, the other problem is we might want to do it a little further because we got to split it all up. One sec. Got to do the splitters first. So, let's move the constructors... We got one, two, three. Might work here. Let's do that. And then we need to get the old smelters. Line them up. And these are going to be one to one. So I can just put them right up on it. Like that. 
Still not a lot of room over here to split it, but we'll see if I can make it work. We need 30 iron ore per minute into each one of these, which will give 30 for the iron plates. We'll need 20 a minute, which will equal up to 60 total. Okay, and if we got 120 coming in here, we need 90 split off here. So, what we're going to do... We got a splitter. Like this. So, if we split the 120 in half... Yeah, okay. Something like that. We're going to split it again. Okay, so the first split here is going to be the MK2 belt. Plug it into that. There'll be 120 coming in. It'll split to 60. Because this is going to go right under here. Oh, I don't want to do that. It'll be 60 total. We need 30 in each one of these. So, wait a minute. What about the three, uh, three uh, sides that we were talking about before? 30. No, I'd have to have 90 coming in order to do that. Okay, I'm just going to work the way that I had it planned. So if I turn it like this. So. Actually, hold on. 60 is coming out of here. Got to split in half. Grab it like this. Pull it from this direction. Actually, I can do it like this. There we go. So 60 is out of here. Like that. And then 30. And then 30 from up there. And this one's going to be pushed down another 60. We'll go this way. And then we need 30 to go there. Like that. So each one of those should have 30 now. Just like that. We're going to get these power poles set up. Always need the power poles. Like that. Okay. Plug it in. Middle one will go to that. And you're going there. Everything's plugged in. Not plugged into the main line yet, but it's plugged in. So we grab this one, put it to the edge. And we can plug it in over here. And I can plug in these ones down there to the main line in a sec. But that'll be a little bit later once I get this all set up. So we got the smelters, we got that. Now we got to figure out what we need for the screws. So, how many rods do we need for the screws? 10 per minute. We needed three of those, so that's 30. And now how many to make 30 uh, rods? 15 per minute makes 15, but we need two of these. So a smelter, so it's taking in 30 here. Smelter is going to split off in, yeah, it's going to go 30 right into a smelter, split it off into two constructors, three constructors, my bad. Two constructors, then three. Okay. Get the smelter, got that lined up. This will line it up with the other one. Make it nice and even. Because of the smelter, that's a 30. And now from the smelter, I'm gonna turn it, line it up, split it into two. Gotta get these constructors. Something like this. 
I guess I can't go very far over now. Well, let's go like that. Line it up. Something like that. That goes there. This will make the rods. I'll be making 15 per minute. 15 per minute. Like that. Get those power lines here. I guess I'll put them over here. Hopefully in the right spot. And we'll put one right in the middle. Oh, yeah. We don't need one in the center. Conveyor belt doesn't need to come out of here, so that should be fine. Go like this. Plug that one in. And that one there. All plugged in. Okay, and now we gotta split these off. So merge them all. What we can do here. Grab a merger. And we're gonna put it out this direction. Let's try to get that right in the center. If we merge them all together, it should be 30 rods total. And then we can pull out the splitter. Like that. And then what we're gonna do with this, get out those constructors. And I'm going to use the fact that it has three open sides like I haven't been before. Make it work. Put it there. Wire. Not like that. Plug it in. Okay. So those are wired. That's going to be, since it's 30 coming in, it should split them off into 10 each. It works the way I think it does. And if that's the case, the rods, nope, not rods, the screws, my bad. The screws only need 10 rods per minute, so this should add up. Okay. And that'll be 120 coming out. Head out of here. So we're going to need... Splitters again. Just mark it like that. I'll put it right in front of the destructors. There we go. We're gonna need MK2 belts for these. Okay. And then we're gonna go this direction with them. Actually, no, we wanted mergers. I messed that up completely. We want mergers here, not splitters. What the F? Okay. Mergers. And we want it to go this direction. There we go. K2s. We're gonna have 120 screws coming down the line. And then over here, we only need MK1. This is gonna be 60 coming out of here. So let's get these mergers going. I got the mergers this time. They could go this direction. I know I don't need a merger here, but I kind of like the look of it, so I'm going to do that. And then rotate this one. Line it up. Coming out that way. Okay. Now, we got ourselves a line. We're gonna go out this way with it. And then we gotta get our assemblers. So let's find some assembler. And I think we can do two assemblers for this. 
Actually, technically, since we have this line over here. And we'll just do it over here. I don't mind if it takes a little bit of room. So, assembler one is going right here at the edge. Assembler two. And then we're going to go with reinforced plates. Now, the next thing we need to do since we got reinforced plates, we need to get the other source of iron coming in and use it for rods, which will allow us to make modular frames. So let's get these connected real quick. All right, let's, let's raise this up. So use one of these. we're looking good and now we're gonna want a splitter as well for this so grab another one put it right here bring it forward splitter and cut this one in half splitting it right i think so so we'll go like this um Let's make it go a little further forward. Line it up. That way we're still in the air with it. Like that. And we'll do the same thing over here on the right side. There we go. Okay. So we've got the plates coming in. Now we got 120 screws coming off of here, and I think we need 60 in each one of these, right? Yep. So we can split that in half as well. So let's grab the old, that's a merger, on a splitter. What we can do here, line it up with that. MK2 belt over here. And then we only need MK1 belts. like that. Alright, we're good. Got that lined up. Now we need some power for it. Never enough power. Okay. Plug it in. And connect it to the other power poles. Which are... That one's full, huh? Yeah, I need to make another one here. Like that. Take it off that. Connect you. Plug that in. And there we go. Okay. So those ones will be making reinforced plates, which we will merge out of here. Like that. Merge. And merge. We're not going to need any MK2 conveyor belts for this because it's not going to make a whole lot. It should be putting out like 10 per minute. Okay. Now we need to figure out another assembler. And let's figure out what we need for the modular plates or modular frames. We got three reinforced iron plates per minute. I'm going to be making 10 so we can do like three of these. And iron rods, we need 12. Oh, we'll be able to get plenty of that. And we need 36 total. Yeah, we're going to have way more um, than we need, to be honest. Okay. So we need three assemblies. And I guess we'll be making like six of these a minute. So, and we need 36 rods. Which would be, let's see, what's this? Rods, 15 per minute. Another 15 would be 30. Interesting. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Bring this bad boy up. MK1 is all we need. Rotate. Something like that. And bring it up like right here. Are you straight? Kinda. Not really. It'll work. 
and we're gonna have a smelter. It's gonna be 60, so we can have two smelters. Split it off. Like that. Let's get a splitter. Have it coming in this way. Yeah, just like this. Go on in there. Plug them in. So that's 60 split. That'll be 30 each. So they'll be getting just enough for what we need with that. It's going to be more than enough, to be honest. Plug those in. Connect it to the other power line. Like that. And then that's already connected there, so we don't have to worry about those. Okay. So these ones are going to be iron again. Again, we have more rods than we need, but that's okay. We might have to go this way a little bit further too for the assemblers. But we'll also see about that as well. So let's get some constructors. constructors. We're gonna need one, two, two or three do. We need rods, 15 per minute, 15. So one of those would do that. I guess we need four, huh? If we want to utilize all that. Okay, it's fine. Again, we're gonna have a surplus. Let's get some power poles in. I'm thinking that uh, we might have to utilize some underclocking for this. Plug all these in. There we go. This one's going to plug that one in. That one. That one. That one. Okay, we're all plugged in. These are all going to be making iron rods. Roll C. Copy. Okay, and then we're going to need a merger. Merge this line together. Might have put them too close. Ooh, I think it's too close. No. Nope. Other truck. Let's see what we can do with this. I put them too close, man. I'm gonna have to move them forward. All right, one sec. Okay, I thought about it again, and I don't need mergers here, because these are all each putting out 30. So literally, I just gotta go straight into that, and then straight into this one, and literally just split them. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back and uh, think a little harder, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more thinking. Okay. Like that. So that should be 30. Split into 15s. With the iron rods. Good. Those are all plugged in now. So that should be plenty. Those are powered. Okay, and these should just be putting out iron rods like crazy, so that should be 30 and 60 total. And I can merge them together. I guess just having extra will be fine. I don't really care too much about that at the moment. Because it'll just keep a full line. This is another merger, so we'll put that right at the end here. We can go out any area, but we wanted to go this direction that okay and then pull it out get them all connected it should be 60 total so we don't got to do any mk2s mk1s could suffice like that 
So now we'll have a whole thing of rods coming, and we got reinforced plates. And now we can, I guess, extend this a little bit all the way down. Okay. So my calculations were 10, 9, I need, I think, three assemblers. So got that there. As long as we can connect it. I don't think I need that much room. I don't know. I'll put it here. One, two. Gives me some extra room to work with if I need it. Got the power hole. Plug them in. Like that. And then plug it in. Okay. So, we're going to have 10 coming out of here, and we want to split it into three. So, splitter. We're going to pull it forward a little bit. Probably line it up with that one. Something like that. Pull this out. And then we're going to go into the... Let's see. It's going to be the left ones. like that and then we need to get these ones over here so line it up with that and we go and we're gonna need to split this one three ways as well so splitter line up with that And I guess this merger we're going to turn face it this direction. Have it come out this way. Let's re-put these conveyor belts in just in case. Okay. And then you're going to go over here. I think I can go forward one more with it. See if I can make it a little bit closer. Maybe like right there. Let's see if I can pull this up high enough. That'll work. And then we're going in. I didn't turn it the right way. Other truck. Okay. Going in that way and you're coming out that way. Just like that. Get rid of this one. Put it back up. Okay. Go up there. And plug them in. And we should be good to go. Modular frames. You're getting iron rods and reinforced plates for all of these. And over here, put one of these bad boys. Put some mergers. Guess extend this out one more. Mergers up. We're going this way with them. There's not going to be a ton of modular plays being made, but at least they'll be automated. Okay. Wonder how much power this is going to take. Make sure it all runs, but we're just going to plug it in to see if it pops a breaker. Alright, where are we going to plug it in at? So 
these are all plugged in. All right, let's get another power line. Ah, uh, we can do it this way. To go in through the miner. Oh, we just missed it. Okay, we're good. Pull it this way, and we'll plug it into that one. Boom. I think we're plugged in. See anything red? I don't think I do. Go red. Everything's looking pretty plugged in. Now we just gotta wait for the ore to show up. There's the ore there. Here comes this ore. It's definitely gonna go first because we got the MK2 belts on them. It's gonna split. There we go. Now we just gotta make sure that it goes through the factory and works properly. Smelter started up. Be pushing out some ingots. Got these all plugged in, right? Yep. Okay, we got plates. Plates are moving along. Check over here real quick. Ah, uh, yep, there's one issue. That's why we always check. Okay, we got ingots going through now. And these are making the rods. It should split off into these three. So the plates are going good. We're heading over to the assemblers. Now we got the rods heading in. Take the screws. I'm gonna slow down for a second because I didn't have that one going. Looks like the rods are going over there as well. Oh yeah, look, they're already going in. Awesome. Here comes the screws. Heading towards the assemblers. Splitting off pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're doing pretty good. The plates are filling up now. So those are catching up. We're doing pretty good. What about the reinforced plate? I think those take like uh, see 12 seconds to make. on reinforced plate there's one that's coming out here those are gonna split off here it should take a little while to get going good and it should head over here and we should start seeing some modular plates being made or modular frames we need three in each one of them It takes so much to make reinforced plates. I did hear something about alternate recipes. That might be interesting to find out. But I want that explorer vehicle so I can go look around and see if I find things. I heard that you can find them in the, the crash sites, like the cargo drops or something. Any of these going yet? Not yet. We got... Oh. We need one more in there. That thing's definitely filling up with the rods, so we shouldn't have any issue with that. Oh, this one's being made. What was that? How about this one? Yep. And it takes 60 seconds. Holy crap, that takes a while. 
Oh, I might just have to make modular frames by hand, but at least they're being made. Alright, just let that factory go. Let's see what we got on the power. Production, 2025. Capacity, 2,400. Okay. We're only consuming about a thousand. Yeah, we got plenty. Got a frame coming yet? That's 60 seconds. Almost there. I want to see one of the frames come out. There we go. Come on, frame. Look at that. Got two of those bad boys. Four of them. And that one should just finish up. There it goes. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be expensive to make these factories produce lots of, like, a lot of these. Okay. Well, there we go. Made a modular factory. Modular frame factory, and it seems to be working. Got that automated. Next step. Oh, uh, I'm going to go check on the quartz real quick. Go get some more of those crystals, see if I can make those oscillators, and I might just manually make those frames and unlock the vehicle real quick. One sec. Okay, we're about to roll up to our quartz factory. I got 935 out of a thousand of those smart plates. We're almost there. I guess it's a good idea just to let it go. That was a lot though. That would be problematic in the future if we need a lot more. Oh man, look at all that. Sort this up, take it. Ooh, we got tons now. All right, let's head back to the hub. See you in a sec. Okay, we're back at the modular frame factory. Let's see how many of these bad boys got made. Grab some of these along the way. How many we got? 42. Oh, okay. Not bad. Let's head to the hub. Make some more of these crystal oscillators. Modular frames. Unlock the old explorer vehicle. And we'll call it for this episode. Pretty sweet. I decided to make one more stop before I did that. I want to check these uh, fix-it things. I got 11 principal coupons. What? Grab them. Nice. And then the other one over here that I got. Let's see how many I got here. That's quite a few coupons. Oh, okay. It just shares it between them all. So technically I could put one of these... Oh, okay. I could technically put one of them at the hub over here and then just pull the coupons from it. Because they all connect in a way. Ah, all right over to the hub. I got these coupons. I can buy some new stuff with them. I'll have to do that later. Now we need crystal oscillators. We need uh, six more of those. We got... Yeah, they are. 34. We can make, we can make plenty of those. One sec. Okay, we made 10 crystal oscillators. Now we need uh, 50 modular frames. 52. Okay. Be right back. Okay, we're almost there. Good thing I automated these modular frames. My god. It takes forever. Okay, and boom. We're there. Let's go over to the research. Research this awesome vehicle. I hope it's awesome. All that work. And start research. See what we got. Explorer unlocked. This personnel transport vehicle facilitates rapid traversal of difficult terrain and climbs like a mountain goat that has returned from extinction. <laughs> like a mountain goat returned from extinction. I like the sound of that. Let's see, special. Nope. Transport. Explorer. What are those? Can I even make those? And I think we have motors. Do I even have that unlocked yet? Can I make a motor? I don't see no dang motors. Where's the motors at? Oh my god, advanced steel production. And I thought I was ready for this. Okay. Well, looks like the next episode, I gotta get these uh, steel pipes going and get some steel process. If I want to get the motor. All right, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Hey, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again.
Later.